Hi, I'm Paris, and today the table is back to being a table, thoroughly disinfected after yesterday's video, which if you missed it, the people at The Scooter sent us an extra product to give away, so if you watch that video and comment down below it, there's a chance next week your comment will be chosen and you'll get to try one of these on your heels. And today we're moving from touchably soft heels to not having to touch something to know exactly how hot it is. This is an infrared thermometer. Now if you're at all unsure which of these two products I would rather receive on Valentine's Day as a guy, it's got to be this one. Epic review guys. Just what is an infrared thermometer and why does the average person need one? Well, all right, the average person doesn't need one of these, but it's so cool what it does. And an infrared thermometer, it's a grip that you hold and it shoots out an infrared beam which then comes back in and is measured and it tells you the temperature of whatever it is you're pointing at. It's basically used to measure the excitement level of a group of molecules. And if you give a cool instrument like this to a guy to add to his tool collection on Valentine's Day, you'll see some excited molecules. This goes for under $20 and I have a link to it down below this video. This is the e -Tech City Laser Grip 774 model that can measure temperatures from minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 716 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for a few more dollars, you can measure up to over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Now I can imagine a woman looking at this and saying, who in the world is gonna want something that you can go around and measure the temperature of things with? But trust me, this is really cool. You can use it in your car, measure how hot is the engine actually when it's running. Not that you can do anything about changing that. In the old days, you could go to the carburetor and lean out the mixture a little, advance the spark timing. These days, the computer does all that stuff in your car. It's one less thing guys are needed for. Cars don't need us anymore or they're too complex to work on. Electronics don't need us anymore or they're too complex to work on. Zebra sharks don't need us anymore. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about there. But with this, you can sort of get back in the game, in the equipment manager for the team or something. And so the next time you go and see your mechanic, you can mention, hey, I noticed the intake manifold is running a little hot. Think we need to do something about that? So come on, give us something to measure. Make us feel important. All right, important stuff to know from the instructions. Do not point this at your eye, at someone else's eye, at a reflective surface where it might bounce back into your eye or into someone else's eye or an animal's eye. Okay, stay away from the eyes, got that. This also measures surface temperature, not internal temperature necessarily. So it's not accurate if you point it at your hand to tell you whether you have a fever or not. So they don't want you relying on it for that. The further away from an object you go, the larger area that's being measured. So if you're 12 feet away from a wall, you're measuring an area about a foot in diameter. If you're just a foot away from the wall, you're measuring about an inch in diameter. So it takes a nine volt battery, which it does come with. Okay. We got a cool blue LED screen here with a backlight. You can turn on and off. And you can turn the laser that works with this. It's a separate little hole in the top that shoots the laser so you can know exactly where you're measuring the temperature of. You can turn that on and off as well. Thermostat set in the house for 70 degrees. The ceiling fan's on low here. This wall should be pretty close to that temperature, so. I've pulled the trigger to activate it and it's showing me 73 degrees. Now let's turn on the, that's Fahrenheit, let's turn on the laser. Oh yeah, there's a laser beam. 72.8, oh, and it, it gives you a live readout as you, if you hold the trigger in and move it around. You can find cold spots in your wall. I gotta show you this. Okay, let's do some more wall measuring. Press the trigger to turn it on. There you can see that readout gave us 73, 73.0. Now I'm going to press and hold it. You should be able to see the, yeah, the laser dot on the wall. And as I move it around, it refreshes the temperature twice every second. It's all pretty consistent. Well, that's an internal wall, so that you're going to see those kinds of results. And yes, it says never point at a person. I'm going to try it on my arm. What am I coming in at? Oh, I'm not so hot after all. It's accurate to within plus or minus two degrees Fahrenheit. So I could be a little hotter than that, but um, the skin out on the end of the arm here isn't necessarily going to be real body temperature. Come on, hit 90 degrees somewhere. My phone is cool to the touch at the moment, the aluminum backing to it, but when it's 
act of playing a game or installing updates, it does get pretty warm. Let's see what temperature it is right now. 77. So just above room temperature. Interesting. Okay, let's see how frozen our frozen foods really are. 21, 18. Some fish. Oh, we got some frozen fish. Furnace vents. We could probably do with some dusting. It should have warm air blowing out right now. The temperature for the room is set to 70. 86, 85. Furnace vent in the bedroom. Ooh, 101. Oh, that's up inside. I think I'm getting that on the inside of the aluminum tubing. Our electric hot water heater is showing a 75, pretty uniformly on the outside. So it's probably 50 something here in the garage. Some heat is leaking out of it, but it's not too bad. Now from the outside of the house, you don't want to see warm spots. Let's see what temperature the tree is. 51, and then let's take a look over here. 50.9, that's good. The oven says it's at 350. Let's check. 336. Maybe it's lower because I've opened the door and there's cold air going in. Hmm, doesn't seem to have very even temperature inside. Boiling water in the electric kettle. Yeah. 212. And we've got tea. See, now that's interesting. I'm gonna save measuring the temperatures in the engine of the minivan for later when I can go out and take my time and I can check the catalytic converter temperature as well as the temperature of the exhaust gases at the very back of the muffler. So for just $17, you can give a guy back a sense of purpose. That's just 63 cents a day or something like that. Alexa, what's 17 divided by 30? 17 divided by 30 is 0 0.56666666667. <laughs> I had broken it. That's just 56 cents a day. Find out more about the eTexity laser grip thermometer at the link down below this video. And if you're really feeling generous, maybe you can give the one that measures up to 1,000 degrees. You can keep checking back for our future videos, or you can click that subscribe button down below. Let's see what temperature it is. 72.6. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic review, guys. Wanna watch it all?